Hey, welcome back. Once again, I'm Pastor Ron Off Jr. of Prayer House Assembly of God. We're continuing through our study of Live Dead Joy, written by Dick Brogdon. Today is March 14. The scriptures, Judges 1 through 3, Psalm 73, John 5, and 2 Corinthians 13. The devotion is titled, Obedience is the Victory. When God's people entered the promised land, they found it difficult to completely overcome and remove all the pagan inhabitants. God sovereignly allowed some of their adversaries to linger. These people were left unconquered in the land so that God might test Israel by them to know whether they would obey the commandments of the Lord. God's tests measure our levels of obedience. Obedience is not the byproduct of faith. The reason that obedience is better than sacrifice is because obedience is the highest form of victory, the purest expression of faith. Obedience is the desired product. It is the goal. God is after the victory of obedience. He is not so concerned with how victories are won. After all, he can win them in many different ways. He is more concerned that we win victories in the way he prescribes. He is not so concerned with what victories are won. After all, he can win by losing. He can be glorified by death on a cross, weakness, foolishness, and limitations. He is more concerned that the victories won are won in the way he instructs. We pass God's test by obedience, not by performance. God is not measuring us by how much or how little we accomplish. He is measuring us by how much of our hearts he controls. He identifies his measure of control by how quickly and how thoroughly we obey him. To obey is better than sacrifice. To obey is better than accomplishment. To obey is better than victory, for obedience is the victory, not just the means of victory. When we understand that obedience is the victory, this brings tremendous relief. The pressure of performance is lifted as we realize that God does not measure us by how many Muslims we bring to faith. He measures how quickly and joyfully we obey him. Because our obedience is the victory, it leads to the obedience of others. The writer of Romans mentioned three times that the goal of God is to bring the nations, all people groups, to the obedience of faith. To say that obedience is the victory is not to say that we will relinquish the goals of seeing saved and discipled Muslims in vibrant communities of faith. The obedience of the missionary is linked to the obedience of faith of the nations. Obedience means to mission. As we obey, others will be saved and discipled. Obedience lifts the pressure of performance, even while it guarantees God's results. For he desperately wants to see the lost found and nurtured.